Here's some pictures of the base after we got it smoothed up and painted. We went ahead and ground the edges so we don't have any sharp edges to catch us on. Sanded it lightly and washed it down with some lacquer thinner and then we sprayed it with bomb cans is what we've used to paint it with. It'll hold up relatively well for this application. We're working on the bending leaf itself for this video and I've gone ahead and cut out the end plates and drilled them so they're ready to assemble. I didn't show that on video but we can post some videos if somebody wants to see that. It's relatively simple. All we did was cut the contours for it and drill the two holes in it. We matched drilled them, had them clamped together and uh, drilled our two end plates. Good morning folks. Still working on the bending break. This is the upper tension rod. I've got it clamped down the table. We're just going to bend it. And I've already done a little bit of math here. And this is not precise. Our tension rod sits in here like this and goes down to the main leaf here. We're just going to heat it up right here and bend it around where we've got 16 inches off the edge of the table should give us enough give us enough clearance to do all that. So let's go ahead and get her heated up and get that part of it done. should be all that takes. Set right on there like that. But we'll, go straight up. we'll trim the centers up and that will weld in place right there. And that'll give us our tension rod. So that looks good. We'll let that cool and we'll go ahead and cut the ends of this to length. Actually, we'll weld our end plates on. Then we'll cut that one to length and finish weld and everything and we'll have the leaf pretty much done. Well we've deburred the edges and on the leaf that holds it down they call for a quarter inch radius. I've actually just sanded this smooth. I'll probably sand it a little bit more when we get it all assembled after it's, after it's painted. I will go back and re-sand this to get it back down to bare metal and that'll show any imperfections we've got in it and whatever I need to do. But we've got this smooth enough right now we can sand it. These are our end plates. They sit here and here on the ends. And the leaf sets right there to line up with the edges on both ends. And we're going to get it so we align with the angles and we're going to tack it in place right there and then we'll double check everything.
so this is the layout. This is the back side of the leaf. This will it just will all set at an angle, obviously. Um, this is our tension rod on top. We'll trim these on both sides so it slides down in against the leaf. We'll weld those solid. We'll weld our center tension adjustment on there. We'll weld it there. And we'll also weld it right there. And then basically the top leaf will be done. Other than we'll have to smooth it up a little bit. We'll go ahead and round the edges and smooth it up and make it a little bit prettier. And get some paint on it and this portion of it will be done. Okay, for the tension rod, I brought it just up off the face a little bit so I can get a good weld all the way around. Plus, it fills the gap there. I brought it off to where it's just about flush with underneath there. And it looks like we've got that pretty even on both sides. So I think we can go ahead and tack it in place. And there's an upper leaf ready to go. We'll grind the edges, smooth it up a little bit, and get some paint on it. Here's pictures of the top leaf after we've got it cleaned up and painted. There again, we've ground it down, sanded it lightly, washed it down with some lacquer thinner, and here we've painted it up and it's set in position. Now it's time to start working on the linkages that hold it to the bed assembly. They'll be the cam locks will fit on the pins, the 5 8 rods that stick out on either end of it, and we'll get that linkage next.